what's going on? It's your girl Ty here, which stands for Together Individual Entertainment. Remember to like and subscribe to my page. Also, uh, follow me not just here on YouTube, but on Anchor.fm and Spotify. Uh, those are my podcast. Both YouTube and podcast are Ty Blog. And follow me on my Facebook page, Together Individual Entertainment. All right, so. As you can tell, I'm still in my jammies because uh, this is just a pre-recording of myself doing the last Christmas Eve story. And yes, I did pre-record myself on Christmas Eve. So it is Christmas Eve and we are on one day, which is tomorrow of Christmas. And I'm so excited. Okay, so I wish I had at least um, one more story to do this year um, because... Not only would I have had the Twas the Night Before Christmas book, I would have had a Christmas Carol, but I don't have it with me uh, at this moment. But I'm hoping next year, if everything goes back to normal, the library will have it on time so I can um, be ready to go with all the stories and not just some a little out of time with the library Christmas books. So hopefully next year I will read the Christmas Carol uh, as the Christmas Eve story. So uh, for now... My last Christmas Eve tale is a classic. I think we all know what it is. And it is Twas the Night Before Christmas. Which is the last Christmas Eve tale that we are doing. Especially since it is Christmas Eve. So. And I am going to talk a little bit of history. Um, about this in the end. Okay. Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house... Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nick was soon would be there. The children all snug, were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap have just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew in the flash, tore up the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon of the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves and that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with the obstacles, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the course they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and turned and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was all dressed, all in fur, from the head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot, and a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his dull little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke in encircled, his head was like a wreath, he had a broad face and a little round belly that shook, when he laughed like a Bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon 
gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, and his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he as he only drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our last Christmas Eve tale, which was the night before Christmas, and I wish you guys a happy Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas, Joyous Noel, Maligamigadilaka, Feliz Navidad, Happy Holidays, everyone. And I cannot wait to do this again next year. Bye! The lanterns lighting up the town Peace on earth is all around Everything is calm on Christmas Eve